Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson we are going to learn how to remove duplicate records from a database or a table. As you recall in the last lesson we created a duplicate query find duplicates using our um, query wizard and we found uh, three duplicate clients in our database. So how do we actually remove them from our database, right? One of the ways to do it is if you only have three clients, you can actually go in the database manually. So you can just open it, open your table and you know who the duplicate clients are. So I have one of them here. So in the wizard, it is Yehuda Simov right here. So what I can do for this client, I can actually go in the database and right click and delete record. Okay. So this is a very um, useful way of cleaning it up if you only have a few um, records. So if I go back and if I rerun this query, it'll say deleted or it'll say it will not show that record. So let's rerun it. I'm going to go back to the design view and I'm going to run it again. And as you can see, I only now have two clients, right? So that was helpful, but it may not fix a bigger problem. If you have, for example, thousands and thousands of clients and a few hundred of them are duplicate records, how do you actually fix that, right? So some people may write an SQL statement to do that. I'm going to show you a simple way in terms of how it can be done. And this is simply a select query with a make table query. Okay. So I'm going to close this for now. And in my table, of course, I still have the duplicate records. I can sort by the client's name and I can see Daniel Jackson and Ivy Jane are duplicates. Okay. So how do I actually get rid of these ones using a query? I'm going to go to create and I'm going to select query design. And I'm going to work with my table that I created. So client list find duplicates. And I'm going to add all the records here. Okay. So now I have duplicate records and records that are not duplicate. I cannot see it here. The way I'm going to solve it is I'm going to go to totals here. And I'm going to group by, I'm just going to use the group by function for every single field. So let's think about it for a moment. What the group by function does is it finds a group and it produces a result only for that particular group, right? So basically if you have five results with um, the same name it's going to produce one name and it's going to perform a calculation if you ask it to perform a calculation. In this case, we're just going to group by. We are not actually do, going to do any calculations with the exception of one small calculation. But let me show you what I mean. I'm just going to remove account ID for now, just for demonstration purposes. And let's run it and see what happens. Okay. So I'm going to name it as seven remove duplicates. And as you noticed, this is still a select query. Okay, so let's run it and see how many records we get. And as you can see, now we get 19 records. So we are back to our original table. Our Ivy Jane is only one entry, right? And the same for the other client. So we don't have any duplicate records anymore. What we're missing in this table though is the primary key. So how do we fix that? Because every duplicate record had a unique primary key. One of the ways you can do this is you can design the table, add the primary key here. And if I want to eliminate duplicates here as well, because if I do a group by for primary key, it's not going to work because we have unique primary keys. All right. So I'm starting to group by number now. And because I have a unique number, it's not going to group them together. Okay. So let's try it and run it. And I have 21 records if I use group by, so it's not really working. Um, if I sort by client's name, I have Ivy Jane as a duplicate. 
simply because she has a unique ID here, 21 and eight, and same for Daniel Jackson, right? So how do I solve for this? What if I select a maximum number for Daniel Jackson and Ivy Jane? What if I tell Access, okay, group by everything, and for the ID, do not group by ID, but just find me the maximum number or the minimum number, okay? So I'm just gonna go here and select max and run it, okay? This is the only change that we're going to make to this query. So now I'm back to my 19 records and Ivy has a maximum number of 21. I believe it was eight and 21 and access selected 21. If you want to create a table from this query, if you want to remove the duplicates, you can simply go to um, create and go to query design, or you can just right click and go to the design view and click on the make table and just make a new table. It's that simple. Just make another table and you will have no duplicates in that table, okay? These are two ways that I know where you can remove duplicates quickly. Once again, there are many other ways. You can write an SQL statement or use a delete query uh, available here. I'm going to use the select query, which is much more simple and intuitive. This is it for today's lesson and thanks very much for watching.